Hello, I'm Thomas Fox. I am uh, working on building a review. I have to get this here. Uh, building a review comparison between a Blendtec char and the Alterna char. Uh, Alterna char is fits on the Blendtec blender. It's an aftermarket char with replaceable blade. You see, it doesn't have a blade here. Um, here is a blade in there. And just wanted to go over the couple differences, and I may forget one or the other. Um, not a scientific review, obviously, but you'll get the idea. I'm not scripted in any way. So, anyways, let's start with the Alterna char. This is our logo right now. We're gonna change the print in the near future. Uh, this is made from uh, copolyester. Eastman Triton. We have been told that the Blendtec is also made by Eastman Triton. This is the three side or wild side char which has the markings up to what um, 36 ounces it says here but that doesn't really indicate how big the char is. This is really two quart, two plus. This is the same here. I mean we have uh, showing two liters and our new ones are going to show uh, two and a half liters, eight cups, ten cups. You really can blend almonds, ten cups of almonds in that effectively. You can use a tamper with our uh, with our lid here, which, by the way, the Blendtec lid fits on the Alterna char. I'll show you that. So this is the Blendtec lid. Oh, and the Blendtec char. Oops, wrong char. Where's my char? Here's my char. So this is our rubber char uh, lid and the older style Blendtec lid. They have a new one. This is the, the gripper. They call it the gripper. That fits also on our char. And I'm just putting it on artificially real quickly because I don't want to make the video too long. So it fits on there. And... Um, you can see the the it's a Blendtec champ in this way in this case with the Alterna char the tamper uh, you could also put the obviously the Blendtec char on there this is the four sides char with our lid this is the new char that has the little lip here for the gripper lid but that fits just perfectly too venting happens here with our uh, lid with a tamper in there. I recommend always to use it anyway. Similar to the Vitamix uh, usage, it's really um, something very convenient to have because uh, you always get stuck every now and then if you make something thicker and you don't want to add water to it. Anyway, so the other differences are when the Blendtec, when the Blendtec jar breaks, um, and it does, this is one of the signs it starts leaking and you see that okay this these things they happen every now and then um, I took out the blade the blades from a Blendtec char and the only way how to take out the Blendtec uh, blade from a Blendtec char is this way you have to smash it it doesn't come out it's not replaceable you have to throw away the whole char if if it breaks out, um, if this uh, seizes up, in this case this is seized in. Uh, here's another one. I, I took the blade out. This is the five, uh, the five sided, the wild side char. Um, yeah, this is the knife. Uh, the Blendtec knife is made from um, stainless steel, uh, a 304 L uh, for L for low carbon. Uh, it's more bendable. This is hard. This isn't bendable, but more bendable than 420 stainless steel. 420 can be hardened, and it is hardened. Uh, heat treated hardened. This is not heat treated hardened because it can't be. So one of the reasons of why this is dull, duller than this here, and this can be sharpened. Our Alterna blade. The reason this is not sharpened is because it could ding easier being a little softer, but don't don't get me wrong here, not soft. I mean, you stick your hand in it, it's gone, obviously, in either cases, so never do that, obviously. So, uh, 
that said, our, our plate assembly comes out by turning the bottom plate. Those are the components basically. The plate assembly and the bottom plate and you get our char um, and this is how it's being installed. Okay, and then you just screw that on here and then you tighten. There's some holes here. You use a, a wrench that comes with it and we, we may not always have this. We'll uh, probably replace this again with our previous black uh, plastic bottom plate. I like that better. But for now this is what we have. Uh, and uh, anyway, so that's, I'm not tightening it right now, I'm running out of time. So uh, plastic, very comparable, um, breaking, Blentec breaks, look, Blentec can break, uh, obviously if you smash it with a hammer, um, it can break, I mean, don't smash it with a hammer, don't want to destroy it, but I guess I have to. I don't know if it's going to break. Ah, the ball bearings fell out um, because that was left, but the plastic didn't break. That's a pretty tough plastic. It's Eastman Triton. Uh, it's not, not going to break. Is it? I mean... Sure, there's a variable there. There, you you can't see for sure how hard I'm hitting it, but I'm hitting it hard with a hammer. I mean, don't do that at home. Uh, so you can break anything you want to. Never stick anything in other than just normal foods. Um, don't steer with your fork. Use a tamper. Tamper is really awesome to have with your Blendtec blender. Now you can you can get just the lid and the tamper together. It fits on any of your Blendtec blenders. Anyway, so I may have forgotten a few comparisons. That's it. I'm Thomas Fox with Alternachars. Have a very nice day.